God says, sometimes, you need to let go of the ones you love because I am taking them to places you were never destined to go. And I am taking you to places they were never destined to go. Have peace, and remember all the goodness you shared with others. I love you. Dear God, you are my Lord and Savior and I love you. I offer you my day. Guide me in everything that I do. Forgive me for all of my sins. I am sorry for hurting you. Bless me and protect me today and always. You woke me up, I'm alive, and I'm ready to live this day to glorify you. I want to be successful for you, so I can show people how wonderful you are. Bless my plans so I can continue to help myself and my loved ones. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for dying on the cross to save me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ I pray, Amen. Father God, as we head into a new week please wrap your peace around us. Give us wisdom in our day to day and go before us in the battles we may face. Guide our steps. Give us the courage to use our voices and to take up our space. Let us not forget all the ways you have already moved on our behalf. Open our eyes to truly see the things that were there all along. Bless our homes and our families. Help us to shine your light to those around us and be the hands and feet of you to those we encounter this week. Thank you Jesus for a fresh chance to walk on purpose. May this week bring us one step closer to breakthrough. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Dear Lord, these are such challenging days we are dealing with. Thank you for being with us in all we face and for getting us through our days. We're grateful you are constantly working on our behalf. Though we can't always see clearly how you are working, we know you waste nothing, you use everything, you make no mistakes, and everything you allow has a purpose. Tonight, we surrender all our burdens, troubles, and cares and ask to exchange them for your peace. We are thankful we can take heart because you are greater than all we face, and we will overcome through Christ, who gives us strength. It's in the name of our Savior Jesus we pray. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, as I begin this new day, I come before you with a grateful heart. Thank you for the gift of life and for the opportunities that this day holds. I pray for your guidance and strength as I go about my daily tasks. Please grant me wisdom in my decisions, patience in my interactions, and a heart of compassion for those around me. May your presence be felt in all that I do, in Jesus' name I pray, Amen. God knew that the only way you would trust and seek him was to put you in a situation where you had no choice but to turn to him. Whether your family is broken, you're facing financial issues, health challenges, or anything else life throws at you, he is teaching you to have faith and to remember that he will always be by your side, no matter how dark it gets. Through his faithfulness and grace, he will lead you into a brighter season. Just remember to remain humble when you receive what you prayed for. I see the blessing of God landing on your life, and it's going to change many things. Who God touches. God changes. It's time for something new in your life. I see God doing a new thing for you and those connected to you. You've had enough losses, it's time for some wins. 
You've had enough pain from those you love. It's time for some joy. There has been a cleansing in your bloodline, now a generational blessing shall come. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God is saying to you today, I know what you're going through because I know your heart. In this next season of your life I will bring people to you who will help you, not hinder you. They will encourage you, not judge you. They are not part of your past so they will not keep reminding you of it. Stay focused on me, things are about to turn around to work in your favor. James 2 verses 12 to 13 speaks of the law of liberty. For judgment is without mercy to the one who has shown no mercy. Just as the physical world is governed by indisputable laws, such as the law of gravity, in the same way, the law of liberty governs in the spiritual world, requiring us to be conduits of the mercy shown to us. In short, if mercy is to flow to us, it must also flow through us. Philippians for verse 8 Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy think about such things. Amen. Let the message about Christ, in all its richness, fill your lives. Teach and counsel each other with all the wisdom he gives. Sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs to God with thankful hearts. And whatever you do or say, do it as a representative of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through him to God the Father. Colossians 3 verses 16 to 17. Isaiah 40 verses 30 to 31 Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary, they will walk and not be faint. Amen. Stop rushing, God knows exactly when is a good time to answer your prayers and wishes. If he's put you in a season of waiting, use that time to keep seeking him on an even deeper level. Before you know it, you won't just be waiting anymore but you'll be moving by faith. He will be using you in ways you could have never imagined and eventually, his timing will all make sense. I know you're ready. I know it hurts. But his faithful and his good. You won't miss it. You won't miss your good thing. Breakthrough is coming. The promise is coming. God is faithful and it's impossible for him to lie. You're so close to something beautiful. Hold on, it's coming. 1 Peter 3 verse 18 For Christ died for sins once and for all, a good man on behalf of sinners, in order to lead you to God. He was put to death physically, but made alive spiritually. Amen, Tilder, if you believe it. God, teach us what it means to have faith in silence. When we face trials that are beyond our understanding, help us to find peace. Help me be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. You set all things in accordance with your time. Remind us to wait patiently and find peace in your plan. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6. Colossians 3 verses 23 to 24. Verse. Whatever you do, work heartily, 
as for the Lord and not for man, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ. For God loved the world so much that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not die but have eternal life. John 3 verse 16 Amen, Tilder, if you believe it. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Colossians 3 verses 23 to 24 Whatever you do, work heartily, as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ. John 3 verse 16 For this is the way God loved the world. He gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Amen. Am I now trying to win the approval of human beings or of God? Or am I trying to please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not be a servant of Christ. Galatians 1 verse 10 But the Lord God has become my divine helper. He leans into my heart and lays his hands upon me. Psalm 54 verse 4 The righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. Psalm 34 verse 19 